Hi friends, in this video, today I will configure how to configure port forwarding in Sophos XG firewalls for Higvision NVR or DVR. We will use port 808 and device default port 808000 and RST port 554 and HTTP, uh, HTTPS port 443. So how to enable and how to configure on the Sophos XG firewall, let's start. So first we need to sign in with our firewall. Okay, L first we need to sign in with our firewall. I have logged in in my firewalls and we need to create a rule. So how can we do that? We need to uh, first we need to create services because uh, I see there are a uh, lot of ports. Let's end this page so that you, could, you can see there is 80 and 8554 and 443 so how can we do that first we need to set up go to services so we need to go in the host and services under the host and services you can see lot of information here but we need to click on services once click on services click on add button here give name hit vision nv nvr ports okay now tcp port first port our 8000 800 uh, next port is 8000 add here then second port is 554 rstp port and third port is 443 and we can see here 8880 8554 443 so i have written down all port uh, select on tcp and uh, give the port name and click on save if you can description then location wise you can say uh, indoor indoor sorry indoor office ground ground floor nvr you can give location so that you, when you check in the future then you can oh this is uh, located in the ground floor so like do then click on save once you save then you can see it is displaying here so now go to firewall rules and policy click on add new rule click on access assistant dnet rule here uh, select post ip camera ip we need to select so we need to type uh, camera ip so we can create another object so or we can select here there is two options so i am going to select so that you can in the futures you can understand how can we do that okay cancel again we need to go to host and services and you can see this this sections for ip sections this sections for uh, services like port so we need to add here and here hic vision nvr ip okay and here ip is 172.16.16.180 this is my hic vision nvr ip and click on save so we have created uh, ip host and we have created services now again we need to go to rules and policies you can click here service dnet then you can find you can see uh, i have created object hikvision sorry ncr i have mentioned but that is nvr ip and this one yeah, once you select it then click on next next you need to select interface port wan so i have a multiple interface but my port v is a wan so i have selected port b is wan so click on your uh, interface wan port 
and here you when you select then you will see your public ip address and in my case i am i have a dscp uh, interface how can i show let's let's show you so that you can better understand it is loading it's taking time guys it's taking time click on network i have geo fiber connection and you can see port b my wan and my wan ip is 192.168.29.94 and now i have selected here when you select then your public ip will be appear here so we have done this then click on next and here we need to add services which we created so when you select equation then you can see where which services we have created uh, then you can display and you can see there is a port information which we created and click on apply then click on next and here external source network devices always select any if any public ip address for external world where you know uh, the only this ip address will be communicate then you can add that ip otherwise select on any because anyone can access from mobile anyone can access from public network so i don't know where they access so always select any if you want if there have public ip address then you can select their on public ip address otherwise select any and click on next and when when you click on next then review your policy how you created then click on save and finish so it is taking time to save so until save we need to wait okay and uh, dnet policy uh, creation there is two rule you can uh, follow and i have a guided one which uh, configured and uh, my next video i will guide you on the another rule and then you can do both rule you can see uh, our rule is successfully created and our rule uh, rule name is uh, dnet hikvision nvr uh, source wan destination land port b and what services hikvision and id and accepted and there which we have successfully created once you click on that rule then you can see all inf information and here here you can select always india if you put for in india then you can select india why it is not displaying country we need to select country sorry india once you click on india then in the india region then a, a, anyone can access in the indian if uh, if he move to another country like singapore usa then he cannot access this port forwarding so always select india here so that anyone cannot access your uh, data outside of india so you can do like this then uh, check the log box uh, log firewall traffic and click on save only these uh, information need to create and uh, then your uh, port forwarding successfully configures and there is no any another mechanism only these steps you need to follow and i will create uh, next video how to create another way to how to create a dnet policy like uh, this is automated ways and we need create, create firewall rule like how can we do that let's start in the same video you can create same rule like following new create firewall rule click on firewall rule give the rule name hik vision nvr port forwarding sorry forwarding we need to give the same name and here you can select top and here you can select none and here you you need to decide we need to click on accept then click on accept lock traffic and here we need to select our source zone is wan and services 
uh, any but uh, here we will select uh, India because I don't want to uh, maximum traffic on my firewall select India click on and uh, during time you can schedule uh, when you need to pour forwarding or you can uh, click on always here you need to select destination our destination zone is LAN and here a destination network IP where you need to uh, where in the LAN zone where your device is located what is the IP address so I have already mapped here Higvision NVR and you can see Higvision NVR and here uh, on this IP on this device what services you, you want to allow so you can I here is selected any but you can select here Hikvision this one and apply once you click on this then uh, your policy is ready you don't need to create net rule you don't need to create anything anything don't need to create click on save once click on you save then your policy will be created there is two option how you can create policy either you can create dnet rule either you can create firewall rules so both rule will really work because uh, <laughs> this is right way and you can see i have created new one this and older but you can see both details are the same both details are the same here line and port be uh, showing on the same and here line and ncp are port showing on the same so both are showing on the same and uh, this is the correct way and please configure and if your port forwarding if there is any problem then you can contact me i will definitely help you thank you so much for watching my youtube channel video jai hind